All right, y'all. We are 15 minutes in, and we ain't talked about no 49ers, but we're going to get into the 49ers now. And part of me getting into the 49ers, I, I came on here, and you know, there's over 200 people in here now. It was not when I first got in here. I said, I'm doing a bad job of really being real and authentic with y'all, like really giving y'all my 100% honest opinion. And I give it, but I give it kind of in a sugar coated way. So now I'm going to start just keeping it real. And with me keeping it real, I hope y'all keep it real. Y'all come on here. We talk about it, right? Me giving my opinion, that's not Bible. We just on here and we talk about it. It's different thing. And then I get to hear y'all perspective on it. And we do that every show. So uh, if you want to kill me for some of the things I say, don't kill me. Just come on and talk about it. I would prefer that. <laughs> I would prefer that because that's what this is for. All right. Kyle Shanahan. And Kyle goes on there and he's, you know, he's talking about the quarterback position. And obviously, I mean, we talk about that ad nauseum, right? I mean, the, the, the Trey Lance, the Jimmy Garoppolo, then now Trey Lance and Brock Purdy. And I can tell y'all a lot of times how, how I feel about it in the sense of, you know, what they do, what they do. But I'm going to tell y'all 100% like what I would like. <laughs> All right. So this is what Eric Crocker would like. And then I'll discuss kind of where they, where they are with it. This is me. Again, I'm trying to trying to become more honest. I want Trey Lance to start. And this has nothing to do with a Trey Lance fan club. You know, you see that, all oh, these Trey fanboys and all that. Ooh, has nothing to do with any of that. I want Trey Lance to start because I think he has the highest potential of anybody in that 49ers quarterback room. Potential gets you fired. So maybe I will get fired for this. But in my opinion, you want that consistent success at the highest level with, for the 49ers. You better hope that Trey Lance is good. Like, that's what you will want. Because Brock Purdy, being honest here, he's cool. He's cool. I like him. Reminds me of Kirk Cousins and Jimmy G and those guys. Reminds me of those guys. It's cool. It's very hard to win with them. And it's going to be hard to win. And when I say win, I ain't talking about win games. I'm talking about win a fucking Super Bowl. That's what y'all want right? And you got to be able to play at a certain level. Your game, you got to raise it to this certain level and this certain extent to really get there and, and be that guy consistently. And when I watch uh, just guys are as good in this and, and what it takes and what you might have to overcome, bro, it's hard. It is hard. You can, I don't want to say luck into one, but you can get carried to one, right? It, we saw Jimmy Garoppolo Get carried to Super Bowl. See, I'm being honest now. Here we go. I'm getting. I'm being honest. We saw Jimmy get carried to Super Bowls. I can sugarcoat it. I go, oh, the defense was so good. Why would they throw the ball anymore when they could rely on the run game? They took the ball out of his hands. That's what happened. I don't care if most ran for a thousand yards in the game. They took the ball out of Jimmy G's hands. He threw the ball eight eight times in the game. An NFL quarterback. We don't see that in perfect conditions. You know how I know the. You know how I know the conditions were perfect. Because I was there. I was at the NFC Championship game. It was nice. It got, it got a little cold. Temperature started dropping a little bit. It got a little cold later in the game. But it, it was nice. All right? And they took the ball out of his hand. They said, we're not going to throw, but you're going to keep running it. Because you're not that guy, Jimmy. All right? And Jimmy's cool. Solid quarterback. You can win a lot of games with him. We saw that. Does things very well. Cool. I view Brock Purdy the same. I think he's in that same tier of guys. Now, Interesting. I don't think that Trey Lance is in the tier of Brock Purdy right now in the sense of how he's played. But I know one thing. I don't watch some of the things he's able to do. And I talked about arm strain with guys like uh, my guy, Dak Prescott, right? And Dak Prescott, I watched him one time and he threw this drive route. It was like a seam. It was like a seam route up the seam. And he didn't quite have enough arm to complete that pass. It just, it just didn't have enough of it. Made the right decision. Threw a, play, a pass that is outside of what he's just capable of doing. That's not his thing, right? And I remember thinking, you don't need a big arm until you need a big arm. There are a lot of people, you don't need a big arm. Look, Brock Purdy, he don't need a big arm. He can do this, do that. You don't until you do need it. And that's the same thing with the elite quarterbacks or guys with that type of ability. You don't need it until you need it. And when you need it, it's a lot of times it's when the shit's on the line, all right? It's when it's all on the line. So. I say this about Trey Lance. He better be good. And you better be rooting for him. Because if not, we're going to keep having these same conversations every single offseason 
about how we win a lot of games. We were good. And then it's like, oh, you get there. Then we're going to blame Kyle Shanahan. We're going to blame Jaquiski Tart for a dropped interception. We're going to blame all these other things because we don't have a quarterback that when you need, when the shit needs to hit the fan and you need that next level ability, you need that, like, that guy that just, that just will not take no for an answer, you don't got it. So you better hope that Trey Lance is good. All right. You better hope that. Now, Cali Young, does Drew Brees need a big arm? Drew Brees, he started to need a big arm because the moment, first of all, he won one Super Bowl and then got his ass kicked by Niners and all these other guys after that. One Super Bowl, cool. Wasn't even him. It was, uh, he did a good job of kind of outdoing Paint Manning in that game for the, for the most part. But ooh, Tracy, what was his name? What was his name, y'all? Tracy, the cornerback for the Saints. He, ran, he got a pick six. That won them the game. The pick six. The pick six. All right. So, uh, anyways, but yeah, Breeze, always good. You can always have an always good guy. How many conference championship games did Drew Breeze go to? Hey, babe. How many conference championships uh, did Drew Breeze go to? Listen, solid quarterback, going to go to the Hall of Fame. It was a little something missing. A little something missing. And when you see, like, consistency, you know what I'm saying? They, they talk about the arm strength of, of – Tom Brady. Tom Brady had a good arm, bro. Tom Brady had a good arm. Now, here's another one. Dilford. Hey, listen. I said it. You can look into a Super Bowl. Number one defense, they carry you all the way. You average 150 yards passing the game. You can potentially win a Super Bowl with goddamn 10 Hall of Famers on the defense. Hall of Fame coaches, right? Who was on that, that Ravens roster? Not just the roster, the coaching staff. Rex Ryan. Uh, Marvin Lewis. Uh, I mean, they had some, and then uh, uh, Ray Lewis, that linebacker, and all these other guys. And you had a great putt re- like, you can do that. How consistent is it going to be? How consistent is it going to be? So, listen, I'm just telling y'all, I tell you, I'm gonna be 100%. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it 100% authentic on here. You better hope Trey Lance is good. You better hope he's good because if he's not. The cycle continues, and every offseason, we talk about uh, Kyle Shanahan. Can he win the big game? This is what we're going to talk about.